Being on an Allied bomber crew during World War II was pretty much a death sentence. 71% of heavy bomber squadron crewmen were killed in action or missing in action, which accounts for over 100,000 people. Let that sink in for a minute. Aside from intercepting fighters, another form of German defense against bombers was flak. When bombers were closing in, these massive skyward pointing guns would fire rounds anywhere from 20 to 128 millimeters in width. There were two ways they'd go off. One was with a proximity fuse. As the name suggests, the round went off when it reached a predetermined distance from a plane by using radio frequencies. The second way they detonated was with a timed fuse. They went off after a certain amount of flight time, which allowed gun crews to target a specific altitude. Typically, bomb squadrons would have to fly right through a wall of these black puffs of smoke before getting close to their targets. Now let's see the most common flak hits by percentages. As you can imagine, the waste gunners took a brunt of the flying shrapnel as they were posted by an open window. They accounted for 21.6% of all the hits. Bombardiers were next with 15%, followed by the Navigator with 13.2%. You can pause the video now and see the rest of the statistics if you'd like. As for airmen hits themselves, here's the most agreed upon data of where they got hit and their survival rates. Their extremities were the most affected. Crew's legs accounted for 44% of all the hits with a 20% fatality rate. Their arms were next with 31% of hits and had a fatality rate of 29%. The chest and abdomen areas combined accounted for about 9% of hits with a 21% fatality rate. That number would have been higher, but wearing flak vests helped protect those torsos. Although head hits were in the middle, accounting for 16% overall, their fatality rate was pretty high, as you can imagine, at 31%. Flying in those skies during World War II was literally hell in the air. <laughs>